Hi. This video is part of a build log series. I'm building motorized shoes that you'll wear while you play a virtual reality game that keep you in the same spot as you walk, like a treadmill, allowing you to walk infinitely in the game. For now, I call them VR shoes or Omni shoes. For this video, we have a five minute overview and then some details later on. If you've been keeping up with this series, you'll know that I've recently been trying to design the perfect omnidirectional wheel to use for the VR shoes. I've went through several different designs, trying to make an omni wheel that is as small as possible, smooth when it rotates, easy to assemble, and 3D print, and can support the weight of a person. Which now that I go through that list, it sounds like a lot. My designs so far have suffered from being bumpy when they rotate. And when made to support my body weight, they become hard to rotate. The reasons why they suffer from these problems I've gone over in the last few videos. The design I came up with and said I would try it in the last video didn't come out as perfectly as I'd hoped. Even though this design had the rollers on each half of the wheel overlapping considerably, and I increased the size of the rollers to the point where they followed along the vast majority of the perimeter of the wheel and rounded the rollers in such a way that they make a perfect circle, they still ended up being bumpy. If you'd like to know more details about why the design ended up being bumpy, I'll go over those later in this video. But basically I believe that any gaps in the wheel the gaps between the rollers will lead to a bump. At this point, I was pretty discouraged. I took a step back and just did some thinking for a couple days. I wondered if Omni wheels were ever going to work for this application. So I started wondering, is there some other mechanism that I can design to achieve my goal? The mechanism can't have any bumps between the parts that roll, otherwise they would be bumpy. I tried to think what kind of shapes uh, could achieve this. There's the wheels that I've been using, what other shapes could do it? So as you may have guessed from the title of this video, I started thinking about spheres. Spheres had the shape where they could roll in any direction instantaneously. I've been using ball transfers and they can do that, but with the ball transfers I have no way of motorizing those spheres. So I tried to think, is there a way that I can motorize the spheres so that they can uh, move, be powered by motor in at least one direction and roll in the other direction. So uh, powered in the y direction and roll in the x direction, for example. I eventually thought of this design. This design it breaks the sphere out into three parts, as you can see. The two halves, uh, the two pieces on the end here, and then the middle. The middle can roll freely, and then the halves, uh, the ends, they have rods going through them. So you can hook these rods up to a gear and the gear will turn them so that in this direction, let's say that's a Y direction, it can be powered. This uh, Omni ball or Omni sphere, whatever, can be powered in the Y direction. But then as long as it's in this orientation where the middle is touching the ground or maybe a little off like this or this, it can roll in the X direction. This design has no gaps. Well, there's those two little gaps, uh, two little gaps on the side, but they're super duper tiny. So as this thing rolls in either direction, it shouldn't have any bumpiness at all. And as you can see, it's pretty small. So this thing can fit under the platform, under where the user's foot will go, which is awesome. The shoe doesn't have to get longer at all. The only thing that's a bit unfortunate is that it can only roll in the X direction when the middle's touching the ground. If it happens to be like this, then obviously it can't roll in the X direction. But for this application, I think I can work around that. And uh, I think it'll, it'll work for the VR shoes. So here's the design that I'm going to build over the next week. Simplified, just to test out if the Omnispheres work. You can see there's three rows and I'll see how it rolls. 
that's it for the overview. If that's all you want to see, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you feel like it. When I started thinking about using a sphere instead of an omni wheel, I googled it. And I wanted to explain why I didn't go with really anything I found on Google. I went with uh, this design instead. So if you Google it, you'll find several designs like this where the sphere is cut in half and there's a large gap in the middle right here. Uh, these balls have a large gap and it looks like the rotor rotates the sphere, but it can also, each half can also rotate in the other direction. Uh, this is similar. The reason I didn't go with that design is because there's a large gap and that's going to create a bump. So if you try to spin this thing really fast, it's going to bump just like the Omni wheels would. I didn't really find anything else online. If you guys have seen this particular design before where the rods are on the ends, let me know. But I went with this design because it doesn't have a large gap, basically, and I can scale it down to the size I want. So this is why I think the Omni wheels are bumpy, no matter how much I try to fix them. Again, it's because of these gaps. So my thinking was that it would follow the circle and be very smooth. But wherever there's a gap, it actually doesn't follow the arc. It'll follow this line, take the shortest path. So it'll go from rotating along the arc to being flat, and then it has to rotate along the arc again. I believe that's why it's always bumpy. And as I rolled it, every time I saw that every time it would hit these, this bump, or even here between uh, the two rollers here, it would bump a little bit. This was worse when it hit this bump, uh, this gap, versus this gap. Another thing with the Omni wheels I noticed is that when this part got to the ground, these rollers did not want to spin. So these rollers just kind of dragged along the ground. They didn't spin, so that was another problem with the Omni wheel. And I was thinking maybe I could trim the, the rollers down so they don't touch the ground and you'd rely on the roller that's on the other side but then you'd have an even worse bump. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you feel like it, leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.